Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Turns T Bud Crawford, the undefeated three division world champion, the only man to go undisputed in two divisions in the four belt era. He is the current undisputed Westway world champ, considered number one pound for pound on a lot of people, pound for pound list. Then we have Earl the True Spence Jr., the former king, the former WBC, IBF, and Super WBA unified welterweight world champ. Now he's at 154 pounds, looking to be a two-division world champion and continue his legacy of becoming a Hall of Famer and one of the greatest devil lace up a pair of gloves. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, case you've been living under a rock, we all know Earl Spence suffered his first loss to the hands of Terrence Bud Crawford July 29th. 2023 in Las Vegas, Nevada, you know what I mean, in a ninth round stoppage. Earl Spence and his rematch clause, you know what I'm saying, well, he made sure he had a rematch clause, first of all, and he wanted the fight to be at 154 pounds that turns Bill Crawford agreed to with Earl the True Spence Jr. They shook hands like mans, and you know, Earl Spence was looking forward to getting his get back at 154 pounds um, against turns Bill Crawford. But now rumors is coming out that Terrence Bud Crawford, right, is saying he want the fight at 147 now. Um, he want more of the money and things of that nature. And that Earl Spence is demanding the fight at 147 because he didn't go sign and, and mark down 154 pounds. That he don't want the fight um, at 154 pounds, right? He never um, changed the, 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 the weight limit. But we know for a fact that Terrence Bud Crawford is getting a little too arrogant. We know that Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, is is on this high horse. You understand what I'm saying? And he's trying to get a fight with Canelo Alvarez and trying to do everything that he got to do to, you know, knock Earl Spence rematch out the way by demanding some shit that he know Earl Spence is not going to agree to. You feel me? So Terrence Bud Crawford is trying to play chess and he's trying to force Earl Spence to say, you know what, never mind, I don't want the rematch because I'm not fighting you at 147 and I'm not going to give you X, Y, and Z of all the money. You understand? Now, Earl Spence, we all know that he changed on all his social medias that he went from a 147-pound fighter, now he's at 154 pounds. He changed that. To let Terrence Crawford know, to let everybody else know that, listen, I'm done with 147, man. Um, I took my first loss there. I fought for Undisputed. I gave the people what they want. Um, you know, maybe I, I, I stayed out the ring a little too long, or maybe I fucked up by even fighting at 47. But nonetheless, I'm not making no excuses or shit like that. I'm moving on to 54. Terrence Crawford agreed to give me my rematch at 54. Now it's time to look forward to the future and let everybody else talk about the past. But now, Terrence Crawford is trying to play EJ like a sucker, man. He's really trying to play him like a sucker. He's out here um, demanding certain things that he know that the man not going to agree to. And he's trying to put himself in position to go get that Canelo fight that he think he'll get the Canelo fight. Because he heard people saying, oh, him and Canelo is the biggest fight in boxing. Oh, Terrence Crawford can beat Canelo Alvarez. Oh, Jamil Charlo is ducking Bud. So if he wants to lose to Canelo... Um, Bud should just go up to beat Canelo. Like all this other weird shit. Bud can knock out Canelo. Like, bro, stop it. Stop it, bro. Stop it. For once, we know Earl Spence. Um, he won't the fight at 154. Otherwise, he would never said it. Two, y'all haven't sat down to even negotiate, you know, all the terms and things of that nature. So you know for a fact that he's not going to change that in the contract yet because y'all haven't sat down to negotiate anything yet. So why would he start saying, oh, well, you know what, I'm going to put this in the contract and put this in. Well, y'all not sitting down negotiating because guess what? He's waiting on you, Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? You the man out here trying to make it as if you got so many options now. Oh, Jamel at 154. Oh, Canelo at 168. Oh, I can go to 160 and fight some of these dudes. Oh, I can go stay at 147 and fight Boots and, and Thurman and these dudes who I'm talking about. Like, bro, come on, bro. You said it out your own mouth that you was one foot in, one foot out the door. If Earl Spence didn't give you the fight, you was going to retire, which I feel like is bullshit. I don't feel like you was retiring at all. Still got too much money on the table, and you're still in your prime, right? Now, bro, since you got a, a, a good, well, I'm going to say a great win in Earl Spence, and, you know, everybody's saying all this other weird shit, 
You going into diva mode, bro. You going into diva mode. I just want Earl Spence to come out and, and to put Terrence Crawford in this place, bro. Now I'm saying let him know that, bro, you know damn well I want this fight at 54. You know these things. You know damn well I'm done with 147. You know I'm not trying to fight you at 147. You said out your own mouth that you was done with 147. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you said it was hard for you to make the weight. You said you're walking around right now at 180. <laughs> you're walking around at 180, right? So you're telling me you want to suck all the way back down to 47 as well? You tell me you, you like coming down to 47 from 180 pounds? Because that shit is not easy at all, right? But you went up to 180 because you think you're going to get that 168-pound fight with Canelo. You know what I'm saying? You're not respecting Canelo and Jamel and letting them enjoy their shit. You want to take their thunder from them. Well, you need to be focusing on me at 154. Regardless of all the rumors with all the haters and the naysayers talking about, Earl Spence don't deserve a rematch. Oh, man, a rematch is just going to be like the first fight. There's no reason they should have a rematch. There's no reason for this. There's no reason for that. Listen, it is a reason. Why? Because Earl Spence put a rematch in a fucking contract. Just like if Terrence Bud Crawford would have lost, he would have won his goddamn rematch. That's the whole reason to setting yourself up for a rematch. So if you lose the first fight, you get a second chance to redeem yourself. You understand? You get a second chance to redeem yourself. That's smart business. Smart business. You feel me? So now Earl Spence won his rematch. He need to come out and put Terrence Boy Crawford on blast, bro. Let him know. You're doing this shit because you're trying to chase Canelo. You're trying to overlook me. You're trying to think that you're the, the, the biggest star in boxing now. Well, we don't even know what your drawing power is outside of me. You feel me? We don't know what your drawing power is outside of me. We don't know how many people that's acting like they big-time fans of yours that's going to go out there and press that button to buy your pay-per-views. We just don't know. You don't know. You're assuming. That's why you're trying to get this fight with Canelo because you know Canelo sells regardless of who he fight. You know what I mean? And that's no knock to you. I understand it. You wouldn't sell your, 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 your O because you want to get a big ass petty on the way out the door because you said you're on your way out anyway. 36 years of age going on 37 if I'm not mistaken. Right? So you said you're on your way out the door anyway. So at this time, bro, um, you just look for all the big money fights. You even said you'll fight Javante Tank Davis at 147. When you said Tank is too little, his weight class is for a reason. Tank is too little, his weight class is for a reason. Like, come on, bro. Let's be realistic, bud. Let's be realistic, bro. At the end of the day, man, don't say things like, oh, well, Earl Spence, he want to fight me at 147 because he didn't change the weight yet. Well, you know that man want to fight at 154. You know you in diva mode. You know you feeling yourself right now. You know you're doing this this interview, that interview. You know? So you're feeling yourself. You feel like you're on cloud 10. Everybody giving you your praises. You deserve that. But honor that contract, man. Honor your word, bro. And if you beat Earl Spence again at 54, you're free to do whatever. And you just fought at 54. So now you fought with with 10 pounds on, 10 pound gloves, and you fought at a weight class with, with you know, extra weight on you. So you get acclimated to, 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 you know, being a little heavier than what you used to at the end of the day. You did? Earl Spence, you know damn well that man ain't not trying to fight at 47. You know that. EJ, come out, blast this shit, stand on your ground if you want to fight at 54. And if he fuck you over, then just go ahead and move on, bro. Don't dwell off of it. But make sure you put out there to the people that that man ducked you. He wanted no parts of you at 54 and that he was chasing that Canelo money. That's it. That's all, bro. And the fans know that shit. The haters know it. Earl Spence want to fight at 154. Period. That man done with 47. Done with it. Held that way for a year, almost two years, just to fight Bud. And we seen what happened. Get that man a shot at 54. He earned it. He deserved it. And he looked out for you at 47. So, so you know, get that man his, his just due. Give him his just due at the end of the day. Earl Spence is in the right. Terrence Crawford's in the wrong. And if you ride with this shit with Terrence Bud Crawford, you in the wrong as well. And you on some sucker shit. Straight like that. Let's go, EJ.